All right, guys, so this is, I think this marks my year, year, a little bit over a year of actually doing YouTube. So majority of people that actually start YouTube channels, they get discouraged really, really, really quickly. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten to that point many, many times where I'm a little discouraged. Now, the basis of me actually starting a YouTube channel is A, Everybody knows that when you're starting a business, when you when you have a business, that being on a social media platform or any platform, it's 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 inevitable. It's it's a it's a mandatory thing to do now, and it's like something that you wanna you wanna go out and make sure that your business name is on the forefront and everything like that. But as far as now, we're we're about a year in. I got 45 subscribers. I think 46 maybe. It's really it's it's nothing. And I'm not gonna lie. This is extremely difficult. So if you're tr looking to start a YouTube channel, maybe I'm just not good at it. Maybe I'm just not that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just not the the attention that I'm I'm getting. Of course, I'm gonna keep continuing because there's a one big problem is that once you start, you cannot stop. You know, you've come in too far because I don't want to be one of those guys that ends up saying, you know what, what if, what if I want to know what happens. I want to know in the next year, two, three, five, ten years what's going to happen. So this is going to be an ongoing thing for me. But now when you're actually starting a YouTube channel, you know, you have to figure out, OK, what camera do I use? And, you know, let me make sure the sound is good or let me make sure this is good. And let me make sure like I get this little studio thing going on. I want to try to make sure the lighting is good. Uh, you go and get yourself a really, really good camera. Now the camera I got is like $2,000. I get a lav mic. You know, you kind of learn all of these things because obviously I'm not a videographer. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no, absolutely no idea, which majority of us don't have any idea of what we're doing. Now, it gets to a point where you are going to get discouraged. I am absolutely at that point where I get a little discouraged because I feel like I'm the content that I put out is is relatively good. I think it is. Uh, but I don't get comments or feedback on people telling me what is good and what is not good. And then I try to adjust things off of the, I think I got two comments that had uh, some suggestions and I actually read them and I look at them and I try to improve it and, and go on uh, with it. But Whenever you do start your YouTube channel is A, what are you trying to get out of it? Do you want to be a YouTuber? I don't want to be a freaking YouTuber. I don't want to do any of that stuff. What I want to do is make sure that the name brand that I have as far as my business goes always stays on the forefront. Now, as a real estate broker and a mortgage broker here, majority of my life is on the phone. Uh, cold calling and and this is what I do. I have other agents that go ahead and do that. I follow up with referrals. I follow up with past clients and, and that's what I do as a normal everyday life. Now, how long does it take for me to go ahead and do something like this? It's not as easy as you think. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a camera and then just, sorry, I got hiccups. Uh, and then just, you know, you, you go ahead and go on a tangent. Like, but this one is, this one's kind of like on a tangent. Now, a majority of it's uh, like one video will take roughly about, let's say, between two to five hours all around to go ahead and do. Now, as of current, I think I have like 250 or 260 total uploaded videos. I know as uh, the beginning ones weren't that great, and, but I'm trying to get better as I go along. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, I can't be one of those success stories right now and tell you, hey, my, my YouTube channel is actually doing awesome and you're making this and you're making that and all of this. It's not, it's not that great. It's not, I mean, maybe I'm just fucking up and I'm just not doing a really, really good job at it. Um, but for the most part, yeah, when you do start a YouTube channel, um, I guess it's just going to be the ultimate total amount of content that you put. Now, for me, I... In my mind, I thought to myself, okay, so I need to have not just one route of YouTube videos. I have to have multiple routes of YouTube videos, right? Number one is the real estate aspect of it to go ahead and tell people, okay, this is what's going on in real estate. These are mortgage rates. This is how this works. This is how that works. 
And then the second aspect, which was my driving factor to get people more associated with the channel is I had a long conversation with some of the people. Like I actually talked to some people at YouTube and Google. I have friends that work at Google. They hooked me up with some people. And then, you know, there is no trick shot. There is no algorithm that helps you out. It just is what it is. The more content you put up. And this is what I was told over and over and over again, that the more content you put up, uh, the, the more people are going to want to go ahead and watch you. And then you could go ahead and segue from there. So I did uh, real estate stuff. I, I go and review tacos. I don't know shit about tacos. Let's just be honest. I don't know a damn thing about tacos. I know tacos are delicious, but how to make one, uh, what goes into it, I don't. But I go and I review different taco places because I thought, okay, that'll be one way of segueing into my, into my channel on people who didn't really normally look at real estate stuff, but they wanted to go ahead and associate something with with like, you know, comfort because comfort is food. Food is something that everybody likes and I thought tacos is one of those things. I didn't really see too many people doing uh, constant uploads of tacos, which I gave myself a lot of excuses because, well, I mean, it was a really pretty valid excuse. It was during Ramadan and Ramadan, you can't eat from sun up to sundown. I, I, I can't eat a lot of like pork stuff, so that kind of limits things. Um, so. That was one of the things. And then my third segue was going to do something where I could go ahead and consistently upload every single day. Uh, and that will be my mortgage rate update. Now, these are the things that went on in my mind to go ahead and say, OK, I, if I constantly keep uploading and I constantly keep doing things that will go ahead and help people like how to do LLC arrangements, how to go ahead and start up a mortgage company, how to go ahead, what's mortgage rates, how to get great deals on them. I thought that this was going to be like, I thought I was just going to blow up. And I think majority of you would look at other people's videos and you're just like, God, I could do that. That's like that's like nothing. Why does anybody watch this person? Like, I don't understand. I'm way better than this person. I feel like I am way better. I feel like I am. I'm, I probably suck. I, to be honest, with you, I probably really, really do suck. But this will not be something that I'm going to stop. This is going to be an ongoing thing for the remainder of my life. I, I believe that I'm just going to keep going on until I, I'm going to be like 70, 80, 90. Until the day I die, I probably just keep on uploading. And that's the mindset that I have, right? The mindset that I have is I'm just going to keep uploading and keep doing this because it's going to eventually end up to being something very lucrative and it's going to be something that's going to help me segue into something that's going to be much more prosperous later on. Now, for instance, if you had Elon Musk, Elon Musk is a great man. He's a visionary. He's 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 everything, right? Uh, he's uh, he's an innovator, but he's a man that has Asperger's. So if a man with Asperger's could go ahead and portray himself in a way to go ahead and get people to view him online, why can't anybody else? Now, of course, I'm not trying to compare myself with him. He's, 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 uh, he's a multi-billion dollar freaking guy who makes rocket car rocket cars. Like he shot up a car in, in space. He makes self-landing rockets. He, he, he does whatever the hell he wants to do, buying Twitter. I am not saying that I am one of those guys. But then you look at these other people that like, you know, they eat for a living. That's what they do. They sit there and they just eat very, very slowly. And you're like, why does anybody in their right mind watch this shit? Like, why does anybody watch this? I don't understand. Let me put up something a little bit more relevant. Let me put something that will go ahead and, and, and elevate somebody's life. So if you are starting a YouTube channel, I guess I can't tell you that you're going to be successful because I sure the hell am not. I am not even close to it. I'm not even, I don't have any followers. I don't have much of anything. I constantly keep trying to upload. But the, the point of this video is that even though at the bottom totem pole, now I upload every single day. Every single day I have an upload coming on, except for like maybe one or two days here that I have not uploaded. Um, and, and that's because it was my son's birthday or, or it's like, you know, I had a family event that I had to go to. And it's not, and I feel like that's just an excuse. And I don't want to make any excuses because I theoretically should be uploading every single day or I should have something in the pipeline to go ahead and upload on that contingent day, right? So don't get discouraged, I guess. I mean, I'm trying not to. It's, it's extremely difficult, especially as you get older. Like, I honestly wish that I did this back in my 20s. I'm in my 30s, late 30s now, and I started this way too late. I don't know what's wrong with me. My priorities weren't right. The majority of people that are in their 20s, I mean, you were out partying. And, and, and in, in my defense, here's another excuse. 
doing it again. Here's another excuse. But in my defense, when I was in my 20s, I was making a ton of money. The real estate market and mortgaging business was so crazy and we were out partying and doing this. The only problem was is I should have documented all of that. I should have done that to where that would have been a way for me to go ahead and get more people to go ahead and view the stuff that I was doing. So I could have been in a different place now. Like what if I did this 10 years ago, right? If I did this 10 years ago, what would I be at, at, at today? It would be a, a drastic difference. But I guess it's a learning curve. It's, a, it's something that we have to go ahead and keep doing on a, on a consistent basis, come up with new ideas. And, uh, and, and for anybody who's A, doing this because you want to be a YouTuber. If you want to be a YouTuber, then by all means, you could, do, you could try as best as you can to go ahead and do whatever niche area that you're trying to be part of or not. Or if you're trying to be somebody who's a business owner, which I think this is the best thing for any business owner to, go, uh, to, to have. I don't think there's any other, I mean, this is free advertisement, right? But in order for these free advertisements to work, you have to go ahead and get to a point where you have enough following to where people will go ahead and keep viewing your videos and then recommend you to whoever that they want to recommend because that's the name of the game. You want to go ahead and make sure that your brand and everything is out there as much as you can. Or if you want to be an affiliate seller or you want to do anything else that YouTube or Instagram or any type of social media uh, avenue has for you. I mean, that's just what it is. But it's not easy. It takes a lot of hours to go ahead and shoot a video, then edit a video, make sure the sound is good, make sure you're not messing things up, review things that you've done before, try to correct things that you're wrong, and you're going to mess up a ton. I've messed up a shit ton. I, I, I probably will continue to keep messing up. But if you are starting a YouTube channel, I guess for the most part, don't stop. Because the worst thing in the world would be is what if, what if you, what if you were like, I could have been so much more than what I am right now. And I think YouTube will be great for anybody, not a business owner, not a thing. The most interesting things that people have in their lives is the everyday mundane things that you have going on. Now that's what I should normally do. Um, to, and it's not always going to be interesting. Like, if you're a garbage driver or uh, which are, these are all great jobs there, but these are the day in the life of what you have. This is the, you are the director, the producer, the main character of your own story in your own life. And this is able to be documented in the whole, uh, in front of uh, potentially millions and millions of people. So this is, uh, I think it's good for lawyers, for garbage truck drivers, for um, uh, anybody, medical workers. Now, as you see, social media, doctors are on there, presidents are on there, lawyers, um, uh, brokers like myself. Uh, you have the most, and then you have little kids that do it too. Like it's, it's an even playing field for everybody. There is no ups or downs between any single person. Like you'll have a little kid that has a YouTube channel that has 10 million subscribers or 20 million subscribers. Sorry about that. Uh, and then you'll have people that are very affluent, very influential that have like a million subscribers or a thousand subscribers, whatever it is, right? I mean, but the moral of the story is, is I'm not going to stop. And if you're deciding to do it, just fucking do it. It just makes no sense not to. Now back to why I actually started this for A, for, for business and for B, is because I wanted to go ahead and, and, and have a revenue stream to come in and then be able to donate more to helping kids that grew up the way I did, which wasn't the best way to grow up, you know, uh, a broken home and all of this and abusive and all of that. That's what I really essentially want, want to do. And hopefully it progresses in a way that I could go ahead and make a difference to do something like that and use this platform to go ahead and have a voice in that, in that section. But keep doing it, just do it. Whether it's on your iPhone, whether it's on, I mean, you don't need this like fancy setup, like I got a camera and this thing, and then I got this thing that shows me like if I'm in my, uh, if I'm in frame and everything like that and uh, fix the lighting and fix this and then whatever. I, you know, eventually you'll end up getting to a point where you can, but I felt like I needed all of this. That's in my mind, I felt like, okay, I have to do it just the way that it is. And you still don't get any of the views that majority of people get. So it's like, who gives a shit? Just go do it and keep doing it. And when you think that something's not interesting, post it anyway. Eventually it'll catch on. Till next video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I mean, if you did like and you want to help a little bit, 
I'd really appreciate a subscribe or anything, but this is not a video to go ahead and like say, oh, boohoo me, subscribe to my channel and all of this. It's not, don't even just watch it and then just go on to the next one. And if you find any value in anything, then yeah, go ahead and pop it in there and just go ahead and subscribe. If you don't, then don't. But until next video, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Peace.